Attorney General Eric Holder is now in Missouri as the grand jury takes the case of a teen killed by police. The visit comes after a week of protests, riots, and looting in the town of Ferguson. In the wake of the chaotic situation in Missouri, many are questioning law enforcement tactics around the country. Namely, the use of military gear by police. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett here now to explain why police say these military items are necessary. Yeah, all this military gear is made possible through the 1033 program, which was put into place by Congress back in the 90s. The goal is to provide police with the tools they say were needed in the fight against drugs at no cost to the department. Some are saying that policy needs a second look. We're getting stuff that are, are needed tools. Some of Eastern Iowa's top cops say despite the criticism you're seeing in Ferguson, the 1033 program overall is a necessary one. We don't have to spend taxpayer money to go out and purchase these things if the military is willing to give it to us for free. Numbers provided by Johnson County show 161 items acquired through 1033 since 1995, including chemical protection suits and typewriters. An inventory we acquired from Lynn County shows 64 rifles, which they are set to give back, in addition to other items, including health helmets, face shields, and binoculars. But the most controversial item between the two departments is Johnson County's MRAP, the mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle. Not only is it armored, but it has a lot of other capabilities because of its high clearance. He says it can be used in deadly shooter situations or even during flooding, as seen earlier this year. Polkravic says the MRAP has no weapons, unlike the vehicles seen in Ferguson. All the vehicles I've been seeing in the St. Louis situation have all been Bearcats, commercial vehicle. Here in Iowa, there are some concerns with 1033. Keith Post, who deals with military surplus on a much smaller scale, says be careful. As long as it doesn't get out of hand, you start seeing all these things driving through town every day. Then that's when it's going to get scary. The American Civil Liberties Union says they're concerned those images from Ferguson reflect what could be without regulation and accountability. The police have a mission to protect and serve not to wage wars on communities. Police say they're not trying to intimidate or fight communities. Instead, they're fighting crime. As the bad guys become better equipped, law enforcement needs to be ahead of the game, not behind them. Now, just two months ago, the House voted down a bill that would end the 1033 program. The program has provided $4.3 billion in gear to departments around the country. That MRAP you saw in Johnson County is worth more than $700,000. Jason Hackett, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.